my Christmas list. Hey guys, welcome to or back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brianna, and if you're coming back from a previous video, then thank you so much for coming back. So on today's episode of Vlogmas, I was probably not doing anything interesting enough to vlog, or I was like busy with family or something like that. So I'm deciding to post this pre-filmed Vlogmas video, and I have someone to help me. I have the Grinch. Wow. So quick little backstory to this. Um, when I was little, I never had a elf on the shelf. I had a Grinch um, because my mom and I love the movie The Grinch. And so he always used to, like when I was little, like like an elf on the shelf. Like he used to like appear in the bathtub or was like unwrapping my dog's poop bags or like doing crazy stuff like an elf on the shelf, but mine's just a Grinch because I'm not so basic to have an elf on the shelf, but no shade if you do. Um, but anyway, my mom packed this in one of my bags um, when I was coming back from school with like mint Hershey kisses. And she was like, oh, haha, -ha, like the Grinch is here. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's my little story on why I have the Grinch in the background. I just thought it would make the background a little more Christmassy and I have like my green chair and pillows. But anyway, as you can see by the title of today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys my 2021 Christmas wish list. Um, so I have never done a video like this before. I feel like it's kind of basic. Like a lot of people do this and I didn't know like they share their own Christmas wish lists. I mean, I did a video where I shared Christmas gift ideas, but I've never shared like what I want for Christmas, but I feel like this is a thing. So I might as well do it. And I feel like this is also kind of like a Christmas gift video idea because if you have someone like in your life that's a uh, guest like around my age, um, I'm 21 by the way, a college student, and you need to buy something for them and you're kind of lost on what to buy for them, maybe this will give you some ideas. If you need to buy for like your girlfriend, your sister, your cousin, your granddaughter, I don't know, something like that. Hopefully this will give you ideas and it's not just me being like, I want this, I want this, I want this. But also I don't really want anything for Christmas this year. I just like, I'm, I've been like this for the past couple years, but I just feel like I just never know what I want for Christmas. I feel like I don't really need anything and I feel like either if I really want something like I kind of just get it for myself um, or I just don't really need anything. And so I figured I would share this with you, maybe give you some ideas or I guess if you want to know what I want for Christmas, then continue watching. Okay, so I have the list on my phone right here. It says my Christmas list. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and read everything off to you guys and give you some ideas and just kind of tell you what I want for Christmas. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing on my Christmas list is a thin robe. So the robe that I currently have at home, um, I don't have a robe here at college, but I have a robe at home. I have had that robe since I was probably like, 12, 13, 14 years old. It's a super comfy robe. It's like a teal colored robe and it's like super fluffy and like comfy, but I want like a thinner robe to kind of just like wear like after a shower if I don't want to get to pajamas right away or if I want to like do a face mask and not get it all over like my pajama shirt or something like that or just like to have a comfy thin robe. Um, I've never had like a thin robe just because I've had that like comfy one and then when I was little I think I had like a fuzzy cheetah robe or something like that, but I just have been wanting like a thin robe probably like black or white or gray colored um, just like a kind of neutral color and just because I'm always sweating if I wear my robe at home and so I feel like this thin robe will be very nice to kind of just like lounge in or have a self-care night in or something like that so a thin robe is definitely at the top of my list the second thing that I have on my Christmas list that I just recently put on my Christmas list is lined Crocs so I have a pair of Crocs, um, my white Crocs, I'm literally looking at them right now. I love them. People hate on Crocs. I love Crocs. I don't understand why you wouldn't like Crocs, like to be honest. Um, but I started wearing Crocs when I worked as a swim instructor. Um, everybody had like Crocs just because they are easy to walk in around, they can get wet, and also they are more like supportive than flip flops because I feel like a lot of the times, like if people have wet flip flops, they can like slip. And Crocs are just like very durable and they are just like nice to have. And I wear them with so many things. Like I wear them with like sweat clothes, sweatpants, leggings, sweatshirts, just comfy outfits and I absolutely love my Crocs. But number one, they make a weird squeaking noise. 
and I feel like I don't know if it's that my feet are sweaty or if they have like internal water in them just from being in the pool and working I worked at a pool for almost four years um, I don't know if it's from working there for so long like internal water is just in the crocs and they squeak but they squeak when I walk which isn't that big of a deal but I also have a habit of kind of just wearing like thick fuzzy socks with my crocs especially in the winter and so I would want a pair of lined crocs to kind of just keep my my feet warm without having to wear like really thick socks um, so yeah lined Crocs is definitely on my list I can't decide what color I want though I feel like I should get another color other than white because the regular Crocs that I have are white but I also feel like white goes with the most but I feel like black might be good to like go with different things and they're not like as showy as white Crocs like white Crocs you can see because like white shoes are like bright but I feel like black Crocs might be a move I don't know I just want lined Crocs the third thing on my list is also a pair of shoes um, I want a pair of cute rain boots so I am this is kind of like uh, like kind of at the bottom of my list actually um, I have Sperry's and I got those two Christmases ago and they kind of function as like rain boots and like boots that I can wear in the winter just because they are kind of like I'm rubbery I think it's rubber and so they can handle like wet and rain and snow and slush and stuff like that but I would want a pair of like rain boots that are a little bit higher than my Sperry's because sometimes Sperry's get like water in them I don't know like mine I feel like sometimes they're not high enough and so I would want just a pair of kind of like rain boots that are designated for when it's raining outside or I guess I could wear them when it's snowing um but I just want a pair of rain boots and along with that the fourth thing on my list is a cute rain coat so I've always kind of wanted like a rain coat and rain boot set but I feel like they're always just like ugly <laughs> like I feel like they're always like patterned like coats with like boots and I don't want that I'm not there for that but I would want like a nice cute rain jacket especially for the rain um like not especially for the rain obviously it's for the rain but like specifically for the rain because I have like a windbreaker it's not really warm I have like my north face jacket and I have like my winter winter jacket but I would want like a rain jacket that I can wear like even when it's like spring outside and like springtime and it's not super cold so I don't need my winter jacket that's like durable with the rain I just want like a cute nice raincoat that has like a durable material for wetness and that's probably like like mid thigh length so yeah that's definitely on my list also I'm probably putting pictures up here of the pictures of things that I would like so yes the fifth thing on my list is just cute matching sweatshirt and sweatpant and sweatsuit sets. Um, so I, I, I just like wearing sweat clothes. I just feel like they're so comfortable and I just like wearing them a lot. And I feel like I don't have as many sweatpants as I thought I did. I have like three that I like feel comfortable wearing in public. You know, like you have sweatpants that like you comfortable wearing in public because they like look a little nice. And then you have ones that are like, mm, yeah, I should probably like just stay in my house and stay inside with these on um so I have like three that I would feel comfortable like going out in but I feel like just matching sweatsuits with like the same colored sweatshirt and sweatpants are so so cute and I don't I have one matching set and like it's like kind of green tie-dye it's from Old Navy and I feel like it's very like out there where I would want just like a cute like tan one or a white one or a black one or a gray or just like a plain nice like pale pink or something like that um colored sweatsuit that goes together a matching set um just because i mean they're cute and who doesn't love just like lounging around in sweat clothes like or just going out in sweat clothes that look nice and cute and you're comfortable that's the main goal the next thing on my list the sixth thing sixth blah, blah, sixth thing on my list is a Groupon or a coupon or a gift certificate for microdermabrasion or a facial. So I have like issues with my skin. It's not horrible. My skin has never been like terrible, but it's a lot of the time been just not I just don't like it. Um I have like acne scars from like the past and sometimes I just get like random acne which is normal normally happens around that time but normally I get like a little like mark from it and so I would love like a microdermabrasion I think that I think that's what it is microdermabrasion or there's another one 
I think this or micro needling. I don't think I want that. I think that bugs your scars and I want to cleanse my scars. So I would either want like a Groupon or gift certificate for a facial. I would want a facial because it like cleanses out your whole skin, but I heard like after you get a facial done, you should like not plan to go anywhere for like a week because it brings things out of your skin which is fine because I would be on like winter break so I could do that then or I could do it um, on like spring break or something if I don't use it over Christmas break. So yeah, I would want a microdermabrasion or facial gift certificate just because I've always wanted to like take better care of my skin and I feel like a facial or microdermabrasion would be ideal for my skin but I feel like I would never like buy it for myself or like go there myself. Like I might, I might, but eh. The chances are low, so I'm asking for that for Christmas. The next thing on my list is the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer Hot Hair Brush. Um, so I rarely use heat on my hair. I probably like once a month, maybe twice a month use heat on my hair and it's not even like I blow dry it and then I curl it. It's normally like my hair has already like been air dried or like been washed for a few days and then I use a curling iron on it. If I'm going somewhere or I used to like straighten my hair a lot, I literally don't use heat on my hair. I just don't. Um, <laughs> I haven't in probably like three or four years. I just don't like using it and I just, my natural hair is fine for me and so I normally just leave it like that. Um, but I would love to try this out just for those days where like I need extra volume in my hair because I do have like thin hair and I don't wash my hair super often like I wash it like once or twice a week and so even though I don't like to use heat on my hair I would love to try this out for kind of like a once in a while thing or just not use extra heat like curling or straightening my hair but to kind of like blow dry my hair after I wash it in the shower um so yeah I would love to go ahead and try out this volumizer hairbrush I hear all good reviews about it and I feel like the one thing my hair is missing sometimes especially when I don't wash it for a few days is a little bit of volume and so I feel like this would be interesting to try out if I like blow dried it right after it's been washed and see how long the volume lasts in my hair and I've seen people use it like and their hair looks good all the time like if you guys know like Colleen Ballinger I know she uses it she's mentioned it a few times I think and her hair always looks like volumized to me and she always says how like she doesn't shower or, like she doesn't wash her hair and it always looks like volumized and like nice in my opinion and so I would love to try it out on my hair so that is another thing on my list and then the next thing on my list is Hollister jeans so I don't like shopping for jeans I don't wear jeans very often but I feel like I don't wear jeans often because I can't find a pair of jeans that I just like love and that are comfortable and that fit me well um, I feel like Hollister is my best bet with jeans I have the most luck when I go to Hollister I've tried on jeans at other places and they just like they just aren't it but like I went to Hollister Black Friday weekend and I tried on a pair of jeans they didn't have the wash color I would like and so I didn't get them but I tried on a pair of jeans and just automatically like they fit and they fit so nice and I just loved them but there is a specific pair of jeans that I want from Hollister they're the like curvy hold on I have a picture of them a picture of the tag because it's a specific type of jeans that I really really liked okay here it is they're the curvy high-rise mom jean Hollister vintage stretch jean um, so I really liked how those jeans looked on me I like how they felt and they were super comfortable and they were super cute and so I'm asking for those and Hollister I know always does like kind of like deals around Christmas time and I feel like there weren't good deals there on Black Friday like there were but the but the jeans weren't as cheap as I know they can be um, <laughs> I know Hollister jeans go on sale like right before Christmas at like $25 and when I did the calculations of like 40% off because they were 40% off I think on Black Friday they were like 32 or 29 or something like that and so I know they could go cheaper which is also why I didn't get them then so I'm asking for them for Christmas um but yeah I think that is basically it on my Christmas list I it's not a lot of things I don't really need a lot of things or want a lot of things I just these are just things that I would kind of like think about and I'm like oh yeah that'd be nice if I had that or like oh yeah that'd be cool if I had it like I would want that maybe 
I don't need anything, but there's things that like I would like. And so, yeah, I hope you guys got some good ideas of like Christmas wish list ideas. If you're having trouble figuring out what to tell people you want for Christmas, I know for my family, like my mom usually kind of has a good idea of what to get me for Christmas, but like the rest of my family, like my aunts and my grandparents and stuff like that, they always ask for like Christmas lists. And so I always have to like make up things that I want, not like make up things, but I always have to like think really hard of things that I want in order to tell people. Um, I would also want like a Dunkin' gift card, a Subway gift card, Panda Express, like Starbucks, things like that, a Target gift card. Gift cards are another great thing to get me or anyone else. Um, those are the only other things I can think of though. Um, so yeah, I just, I just not like I want a lot, but I always have to think of things. So I thought I would share it with you guys, what I kind of tell my family that I would want for Christmas. So yeah, I hope this gave you ideas. If again, you're looking for things to tell people you want for Christmas, if you have to make a list or if you are buying for someone else and you need ideas, I hope this gave you some ideas on what to buy them. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it so, so much, and I will see you guys, well, tomorrow for Vlogmas. Bye, guys.